How you guys doing? My name is Mike. What I have here is battery corrosion. This has nothing to do with the make of the vehicle. So basically any car that has a battery with battery corrosion, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the corrosion, clean it up nicely, uh, because this corrosion, what it's doing is it's actually eating your power wire and your terminal. So uh, I never had corrosion up until this little red wire went on. That is a wire to my amp. I only have a 250 watt amp, but I have no capacitor, so therefore I get corrosion. Uh, it's really bad, so I'm going to show you how to use it, clean it up, which is household material. So um, <clears throat> everybody should have some pretty basic tools to be able to do this. I uh, just need a socket. Pretty much um, almost every car I worked on is pretty close to the same size. Uh, this is a, an 8 millimeter. And uh, just because of the corrosion, uh, I needed to use a, a little ratchet just to loosen it up a little bit. You don't need to take it all the way off. Um, probably should forewarn you that this is a good time for you to uh, save um, all your radio stations. So just get that nice and loose. And then uh, just be able to take that off and just kind of hit that off for right now. Now you do not want to blow on that. Corrosion getting in your eyes is not, not a good thing. Corrosion is very dangerous. What you're gonna need is like I said, everybody pretty much has it. We're gonna use baking soda, some water, some paper towels, uh, just to clean it all up. But now we have to get the uh, all the corrosion off. Um, I don't try and just put some baking soda down on there. had paper towels ready but I uh, lost them and and just wipe it all down and because I'm not taking this out change the screwdriver so all the inside here and then down in here, right alongside the battery. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but um, just right alongside the battery. It's obviously water in the tray. So I'm just sucking it up. You can tell us. You could also take the battery out to do this. But I'm trying not to take as many steps as possible. It's causing more, more work. Sometimes shortcuts take longer. If that makes any sense. No trees were harmed in the making of this video. Uh, just kidding, they were. Okay. And then you pour it right back into where you just dried it all off. So now the only tool you'll need is a, it's a, it's a battery terminal cleaner. Um, so this, we're going to clean the actual part here. Just get that in there.
Okay. And then uh, if you have the same tool, I just got this at the parts store. Just take it, put it right on there. Just clean it all off. Uh, there's uh, two different protectors that you can get. You can get paired every protector. It's a goop in a package. Or you can buy the can spray. Um, I tend to use the can spray instead of the gel. Uh, just because uh, there's so much in here. And this is just easier to, to have a bunch of and reuse it. Nice and red. Spray it on there. Just get it snug enough uh, to the point where you can't turn this anymore. You don't need to crank down on it or torque it. Since I'm already here with the stuff, just give it a little spray. If uh, sometimes the, the terminal will get corroded so bad because it's been there for so long and there's nothing that anybody did about it because they didn't know how to fix it. They sell these shims that you can buy little, little um, like metal caps that you just beat down on there so that uh, there's more room for terminal to grip on if, if you notice that it doesn't matter how tight you make this this still spins you, you may need to buy a, a new shim before you spend the $80 on a brand new battery so remember that there's shims that you can buy and uh, I don't I don't need them for this car so unfortunately I can't show you but uh, if I come across it I'll make a video and that is how you clean uh, corrosion off of a battery terminal doesn't matter what kind of car it is. Very minimal tools, most of the most of the equipment you have in your pantry. And everybody has water, right? All right, thanks for watching guys and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see when I post my next video. I'm going to be doing some more repairs on my vehicle and future vehicles in the in the future, obviously and other vehicles in the future. Make sure you thumbs this up so that everybody can see this just like you have. All right guys, happy fixing your car. Have a good day.